Hello everyone, this is Filibuster Fox, and I am playing League of Legends. Just quickly to give a Destruction little tutorial approaches. on the fundamental of last hitting and uh, how to properly lane in the early phase here. I've picked Rannikton. I'm not the best there with Rannikton. No He's I've only played him a few times, like four or five times maybe. I haven't done a whole lot of uh, PvP or anything with him yet. Mostly just in fun games. Spawn. I'm just doing a one-on-one -on -one against uh, Master Yi bot here. Uh, basically for the demonstrative purpose of showing you guys how to last it properly. Now Fraps is cutting into my performance here a little. I'm only getting uh, 21 FPS uh, right now to bring the highest quality video so hopefully it'll turn out okay. Uh, if not, you probably won't ever see this, and I'll just remake it at a uh, better quality. Alright, so I'm just waiting on these uh, minions to get here, and we'll go ahead and get started. Now, last hitting is probably the single most important skill for a beginner to learn in any MOBA game. And it applies to all MOBA games. Excuse me. Uh, it's the practice of only attacking... Well, it's the practice of actually killing the... Uh, minions uh, when they're about to die actually getting the last hit to get the kill gold uh, expanding upon that is uh, not overly pushing your lane like say I'm solo bottom right now for whatever reason and they've got Who's someone who might come get me you don't want to push out too far lest you uh, put yourself at a large risk of a gank Alright, so basically the goal behind last hitting is not to constantly auto attack the minions, to only go in for that one hit, and otherwise just stay constantly moving to avoid any skill shots they may have. Don't move predictably. The lag here. Uh, that's that fraps causing me trouble. Uh, but hopefully that will not be too big of an issue here. But you just uh, kind of chill out. Uh, do whatever harass you've got to do and uh, avoid getting harassed and pick up those last hits on the minion. That was a bad decision on my part to stay there. I have potions. It's a little hard to concentrate on the game and uh, talking, uh, which is why I don't usually do lol videos while I play live, I do the replays. But anyways, this one's live, so... Ah! Go away. There we go. Picked up that kill. Because it's a dumb basic bot. Alright, so, quite simply, the goal is, like, I could just be auto-attacking these minions, but I don't want to. Uh, that was a fail hit, but uh, you don't want to because if you... Well, I'll show you. If I just sit here and attack them, I go for broke and do all this damage. I quickly clear up the creep wave. Yes, I am getting the gold from the last hits too, which is important. But uh, as I do this, especially with the other team not present or uh, only last hitting, I'm going to be pushing this lane hard, and that is a dangerous thing to do, because when you do push that lane, I'm now fighting under his tower. He can, if I push up, the tower will hit me if I try to hit him, and he can basically sit here, harass me at will, and I can't retaliate that well without getting tower hits, which is devastating at low levels. Okay, well, he's an idiot bot, and he walked out, but that's, uh... Not what you should plan on. Nope, didn't quite secure that kill there. Well, it looks like he'll heal up and stick around. Which is exactly what I'm hoping for. So I'm going to go back to just last hitting here. And maybe killing the bot. Back. No. Oh, yay. Alright. Did pick up that kill, but now I'm just going to go back and just pick off these last hits here. That was a good use of that. 
uh, and I'm going to do some tower damage to the tower while he is out of lane. Now this is more an appropriate demonstration for like a solo top lane, except the bots go bot first when there's only one of them. So, um, damage here. Get back off. Let the engagement happen a little way from the tower since he should be back soon. But, you know, pretty much this is last hitting. Just, uh, if you don't want to go in and just auto attack constantly, uh, you're just going to push your lane. You can deny, like, say I did not push the lane earlier, and you had actually pushed back or something. Like, if I were further back, I could, uh, like, say I had no minions but these mages. I could stand in front of the mage minions. It's very hard to demonstrate in, you know, live combat here. It's just, uh... So, oh, that was atrocious. There we go. Full bonus exhaust there on him. Because, oh, throws up a second there. Yeah, this high def fraps recording is giving me some uh, frame rate issues, which is not good. I usually do get a little freeze up like that once early on in the game. I really need to correct that. Probably just turned down my graphics settings. Uh, I thought the problem had gone away, but it appears to be back. But uh, that, that's totally unrelated and really just a tangent. Lassus cannot escape me. So I'm just going to push up on this tower, get rid of it really fast so I can demonstrate since he is not going to push back on my minions. He's just going to come up like an idiot and suicide to me every time. Of course, I didn't quite get the tower kill there. I'm gonna back off. I'm really low. I'm out of potions. I'll give him a chance to push up a little. Actually, no, I'm not gonna do that. Stick around. Alright, so now he's pushed out. Uh, now, assuming I had more health, I could zone him by getting on the front side of this and just doing damage to prevent him from getting in range. Were I not in such a poor position health-wise. I can't actually afford to do that. But were I at full health and had this large advantage on him, no problem at all. Okay, well, I could probably actually finish him. How? Okay. Maybe I'll just... Maybe I'll just go be like I'm supposed to. Okay. But yeah, uh, anyone who's tower-hugging is pretty safe against any roaming gangs. They're pretty safe uh, against the people they're in the lane against. And uh, in general, it, it's just, well, it's just swelled to be under your turret. And uh, no when you're solo retreat. laning against one or two, especially up in top, like, uh, say, our solo top against E and, I don't know, uh, Warwick. Who cares? Uh, they would be pushing a little harder if they're both going for last hits. That's why oftentimes when you, uh, in the current metagame, when you go two in the bot, one top, one mid, and one jungler, and the second in the bot doesn't actually go for creep kills, they're a support who's just there to support, ward up, and uh, help the carry farm up those creeps. Lavish brutality. Alright, well, you know, it's getting to the point where... Uh, go. Just clean that up nicely. Destruction I can't not go for kills when I've got such an obvious opportunity. Fed running con is fed. Alright, but, uh, you know, this is an example of what not to do in the early game, but since I am being pushy now, I've got the advantage. I've got my brutalizer. You know, I'm way far ahead of him. I can afford to push the lane and put some pressure on. Since there's no one else going to come gank me, you know, I'm totally, totally safe to do this. Normally you wouldn't do this, but it is one of them. But that, that's the beauty of last hitting. You need to practice a little with the champion before you go in. Uh, make sure you're using your runes. Like if you normally use damage runes and then you go into a game where you're not using damage runes, uh, your last hitting is going to operate differently. Same with uh, armor pen or magic pen or whatever you have. Uh, masteries will apply to this too. Like, I've got 121 attack right now. Uh, you start normally with the 84 base at this level, and, you know, my modifiers add 37. If I didn't have those modifiers, 
uh, I would not be last hitting as easily. Like, say here, I will last hit at about a third of their health. They'll come back. I'm not going anywhere. But once again, I got off topic and distracted by killing them. Uh, so now, like, I'm taking out half their health per hit on those mage minions. So I can pretty much just two-shot them. But you need to know how much damage your attack is going to do, what point at that bar you should hit them to secure the last hit. Usually at, like, 10%, that's, you know, about where I just hit that one there. It's a good spot to be hitting them. Ooh, that was a little early. Mages have fewer hit points. You can get away with it a little earlier. Uh, but just practice. I mean, uh, do a bot match with your champion before you try doing any PvP. And just see what it takes to do those last hits. Uh, you know, what you need to do to properly farm if you are a farm champion. If you are playing an AD carry, this is the most essential skill to have. Absolutely. You cannot fail at last hitting as an AD carry. If you're just not getting that gold, you're wasting your support's time or whomever you're laning with who's trying to feed you, and it's just bad news for your team if you're not securing these last hits. Alright, well this has been Phil Buster Fox, and I've been giving you a look at how to properly last hit, more or less, or explaining last hitting while passively doing it. Oh, come back. There you go, another kill. Alright everyone, have a great one. I'm going to try to do a couple more League of Legends tutorials on some other things, like map awareness, uh, that sort of thing. But this was entirely concentrating on last hitting. You guys have a great one, I'll see you next time.